Hey guys, welcome to Troy Time. Hey, check it out. Today we're going to learn how to make this awesome meal, which is an amazing batch of chicken and dumplings. We're going to use the Nesco Carry Canner and we're going to cook in it. We're going to make this amazing meal. This is so good. I'll tell you what, you know, this is, it was even better the next day. We made a batch of this. Everyone loved it and they wanted it again the next night just so we could finish off what was left. This stuff is so good. You're going to love it. This is chicken and dumplings done in the Nesco Canner. Make this recipe, guys. This one's good. This one's a keeper for sure. Guys, we're using the Nesco Carry pressure canner and cooker today. This thing is awesome, guys. I've been telling you for years on this channel, get one of these canners, can some food, but man, it does even more than that. I'm using it for cooking all the time. I'm cooking fish from frozen. We're cooking chili. We're cooking all kinds of great meals in this thing. Today, we're doing the chicken and dumplings. It comes out awesome. You can do everything that uh, the Instapot can do, this can do as well, and it's just a larger volume. It's great. So definitely get one of these Nesco Carry canners, man. They are awesome. Okay guys, so here's a quick look at what we're gonna need. These aren't necessarily the sizes for everything, but uh, it's the, what the ingredients list is, okay? Obviously it's chicken and dumplings, so we're gonna need chicken, right? Next up on all of our veggies, we're gonna use four different types of veggies. We're gonna use about a cup, a little more than a cup. I just will go with a half of a small plate. Half of a small plate of carrots, half of a small plate of potatoes, those are cut into like cubes, and then diced up, we've got half of a small plate of celery, and half of a small plate of onions, okay? Also, we've got frozen peas that we're gonna throw in at the end. So that line is our veggies. Next up for our dry seasonings, we will need some chicken broth, so we're gonna use that. Also, we have salt and pepper. We do have some seasonal, you could use poultry seasoning. And then we also have some sage and some garlic. We also have some oil in our butter to facilitate our cooking. And we've got some light cream that we'll put in at the end as well, okay? So that's one more look at all, all of our ingredients in a row, in a line. And this is gonna be great, chicken and dumplings, guys. Okay, for starters, we put about two tablespoons of butter and enough oil to basically coat the bottom of the pan. On our pressure cooker, we're gonna turn it stop. We're gonna select brown, and the light should come on. And that's gonna basically help us sear this and get our pan hot and get everything ready to go. Okay, once you hit brown, then you wanna hit start. And you want that rolling pattern. That lets you know that it's working. Here I use the power of my mind to magically cut two large chicken breasts into bite-sized pieces. Whoosh! Ta-da! Alright, so first up we are going to add our onions and celery into the mix. And we're just going to stir those around. I like to add my garlic at this stage for the aromatics. I'm using minced garlic, but you could use garlic salt or garlic powder, but that's about how much I'm putting in. All right, and after about three minutes, you'll notice that those will start to soften, and now it's time for your larger vegetables. So that's going to be your carrots and your potatoes. The popos. Lastly, we will add our chicken. Once you stir it around, it will look about like this. To that, we are going to add our seasonings. Salt. Whoa, a little heavy on the salt. Pepper. A little bit of sage. And some seasonal. And we're going to stir that around. To that, I'm going to add a small bowl full of uh, chicken broth. This is a little over two cups. It's probably two and a half cups. And that's going to be just about enough to basically cover everything that's in there. Okay, it's going to look like this before we close the lid. Okay, after we close the lid, we're going to make sure we have it unsealed. Okay, and we are going to go for pressure cook. We're going to stop first because we run uh, brown. We're going to go pressure cook. We're going to go 15 minutes. Hard to see through the camera. And start. Again, our running pattern lets us know that it's working. 
All right, so while that's cooking, we're going to cut up six biscuits into six pieces. Okay, and there are our six biscuits cut up into six pieces. That's in honor of our six sisters, the people who we basically stole this recipe from. They did theirs in the Instapot. We're doing ours in the, uh, in the canner, in the Nesco Carry canner slash pressure cooker. I'm cooking in that thing more and more, guys. It's just awesome. Definitely get one of those things. Get, get one if you don't have one. Get some canning going. And this kind of cooking is great. Now, those remaining two biscuits I'm going to throw in the oven. We're going to cook those for about the last seven or eight minutes and get them golden brown to have alongside our chicken and dumplings. That's a totally optional step, though. You could just stick those in a fridge and use them at a later time. All right, as I look at these, how reminiscent is this of my uh, DIY hydroponic mini boat system? It really looks just like it with the green and all the little things there. Anyways, check those videos out if you haven't. They're awesome. But yeah, it just kind of reminds me of that. If you've seen my recent video, it looks real similar. But the great news is our uh, chicken and dumplings is uh, almost ready. It's time to put these uh, little dumpling bits into the canner. The canner just beeped, so now we're going to go pressure release. The canner just beeped, so now we're going to go release. And just be careful, this steam's really going to come out. Just step back and be a little aware. <laughs> Okay, once that little red nipple drops, we'll be able to open the canner. Live action footage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go. All right, let's open this up. Oh, guys, that stuff smells delicious. It smells delicious. I want to eat that up already. All right, but we're just going to give this a little stir. Yeah, that's going to be awesome, guys. Okay, check it out. Now with the dumplings, the secret is you want them to float. You want them to be floaters, okay? So we're going to have to add about one cup more of the chicken broth. Just to kind of make sure that the liquid up, is up on top, okay? Now we're just going to place the dumplings gently on top. Try to leave a little space in between each one. All right, guys, so it looks like that. Almost like you're making a crust up on top, okay? Those are the floaters, those are the dumplings, and we're gonna now cook them for 10 minutes. So we're gonna close the lid, we're gonna put it on pressure cook for 10 minutes. Okay, that's the, the pressure cooker beeping in the background and the oven just beeped, which means it's time for these biscuits to go in. All right, we're gonna vent this thing one more time. Okay guys, this is looking beautiful. We're gonna add our last two ingredients, okay? We're gonna add about three quarters of a cup of uh, light cream. You could use heavy cream if you wanted to get down with the thickness. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Or you could use, uh, but we're gonna use, but we're gonna use light cream today. And then we got just over a cup of uh, frozen peas. I like peas in there. Now we're going to stir this gently, okay? And to keep it warm, we are going to put it on um, brown again to keep it going. So on the control panel, so since it's off, we want to keep it going with some heat. So we're going to heat it up again by pushing brown, stop, brown, and start. Again, we have our running pattern, so we know it's working. And then we're just going to stir. We want to stir gently. We do want to try and keep most of the uh, dumplings on top. And he's a little confused because when we, when we run the canner, we're canning meat. And he always gets his share. He knows when he sees the canner, that's good times for him. But there's nothing for him. He's not having chicken and dumplings. So he's a little confused, but we'll get him a treat. It'll be okay. Say hi, buddy. Say hi, buddy. They haven't seen you in a while. Look here. Hey. Oh, it's a good boy. He's a good, he's a good boy. Good boy. All right. Say bye-bye, Finney's. All right, guys. So there you go. That is beautiful. Chicken and dumplings. We got a little biscuit on the side, golden brown. This stuff's beautiful. We're using that Nesco Carry canner. That can do like everything that an Instapot can do and more. It can do all the canning. Totally do this. This stuff is great. This is going to be so good. Let's get a good zoom in on this. Man, that looks good, don't it? Oh, it smells wonderful. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this time. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We got lots more videos coming. This is Troy time. Glad you're here. I'm out.